Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. You're watching Food Heaven Made Easy with Wendy and Jess. And today we have a really exciting show for you guys, which we always say, but we promise, we hope you like it. Um, and we're gonna talk about vitamins. So it's a little nutrition-y, but it's really important to know this stuff. So uh, Wendy's actually gonna start out by talking about fat-soluble vitamins, and then I'm gonna jump in and go over water-soluble vitamins. So I'm going to be talking about fat-soluble vitamins and a quick tip that you can use to remember which ones are fat-soluble is ADEC, which is A, D, E, and K. It's a little name that I made up to remember which ones are which. And it stands for vitamin A, D, E, and K. These are the four fat-soluble vitamins. And what that means is that they dissolve in your body in the presence of fat. So if you're on a no-fat or a very low-fat diet, it's going to be harder for your body to get these vitamins and use them. Um, we recommend that you get these vitamins from food sources. If you're going to supplement, you want to make sure that you look at the label and you don't consume over 100% of the daily value because these vitamins are stored in your liver. Unlike water-soluble vitamins, they're not um, as easily discarded by your body. Our first fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin A, aka retinol, and these carrots right here are really rich in them. Um, carotene is converted into the body um, into vitamin A, so you want to go for foods that have that carroty color, like carrots, this beautiful pepper here has like an orangey color, butternut squash, one cup, has over 400% of your vitamin A, cantaloupe, also leafy greens are a rich source of vitamin A, um, and it's really important for vision, bone growth, cell division, so you want to make sure you're getting um, sufficient amounts, and just make sure you're eating a varied diet and you have no problem getting enough vitamin A. Our next fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin D, which is needed for um, calcium and phosphorus use in the body. It's also needed for bone development. And you can naturally get it through sunlight, but unfortunately for a lot of us who live in places like New York City, uh, we don't get the necessary vitamin D that we need. Also, for people that have darker skin color, it's harder to absorb. Um, so you can get foods that are fortified with it. Many foods, most foods actually, don't naturally contain vitamin D. D. So you can go for foods like this um, mini soy milk. It's fortified with it. It's added in there. It has about 25% of it in this small little carton. Um, other milk, dairy products are also um, fortified with it. You just have to look out for the label. Um, and sometimes orange juice is also fortified with it. Our next fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin E. And vitamin E is a super strong antioxidant which protects us against different types of cancers. It also protects our red blood cells and our essential fatty acids. Um, it's pretty rare to have a vitamin E deficiency because um, we usually get our vitamin E through vegetable oils, also nut butters, like here we have some almond butter, almonds, peanuts, um, safflower oil, here's some almonds. Um, so it's pretty rare to develop a deficiency. Just make sure you're eating a varied diet and you'll be good on your vitamin E. Leafy greens are also a rich source of vitamin E. Okay, last but not least is vitamin K. And vitamin K is naturally produced by bacteria in our intestines. Um, food products that contain vitamin K are vegetable oils, like right here we have some canola oil, um, dark leafy greens, and it's pretty hard to develop a deficiency because your intestines produce about half of the vitamin K that you need. Um, so just make sure you're eating um, a balanced diet. Um, it's needed for blood clotting. So if you do develop a deficiency, um, you can have hemorrhaging, which will result in a lot of blood loss. So just make sure you eat a balanced diet. And those are our four fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. Now we're gonna talk about our water soluble vitamins. And those are basically um, our B vitamins, B complex, and everything else, which is actually just vitamin C. 
And water soluble vitamins, um, they dissolve in water, surprise, surprise. And um, so starting with the B complex vitamins, those are our vitamin B6, vitamin B12, uh, riboflavin, thiamine, folic acid, pantothenic acid, and niacin. So there's seven in total. And we use these vitamins for what we call energy metabolism. So what is that? That's basically when we eat food, how do we extract the nutrients and process them, store them um, for later use. Uh, that's energy metabolism and we need B vitamins for those processes. Um, and they're found in a variety of different foods. You can find some in green leafy vegetables. You can find some in um, legumes, which are beans and peas. You can find some in whole grains, um, tomatoes, nuts, and even dairy is a good source of riboflavin. So, and also if you're a meat eater, they're found in meats too. So as long as you're eating a well-balanced diet, you're definitely gonna get all of your B vitamins in there. So that's pretty much our B vitamin 101. So next we're gonna talk about vitamin C. And vitamin C is a little more popular. I'm sure you've all heard about it. It's really important for um, being an antioxidant, which it helps to uh, protect our body and our cells from damage from free radicals. So we really need vitamin C in our diet. And you can find it in um, different foods. A lot of fruits and vegetables have vitamin C, especially citrusy foods like oranges, grapefruit, lemons, things like that, even bell peppers, uh, Brussels sprouts are a very rich source. Um, and one other thing I want to point out when it comes to all the water soluble vitamins is that even though our body can get rid of them easier as compared to fat soluble, we still don't want to take mega doses of them because it can decrease the bioavailability, which is how well our body can absorb these vitamins. So you still want to keep it, if you're going to take a pill, around 100% of the daily value. But really, it's best to get these foods from these uh, vitamins from food sources. There's four really important factors that you want to consider when it comes to water-soluble vitamins. And the first one is water. And um, you really don't want to soak these uh, different foods in excess water for a long period of time because the vitamins can start to dissolve out because they're water-soluble. So one thing is water. The second thing is heat. Um, a lot of water-soluble vitamins can be destroyed by excess heat. So when it comes to cooking, you want to make sure that, especially with fruits and vegetables, you're not cooking them for a long period of time until they're kind of like dead, basically. You just want to lightly cook them or steam them, saute, um, so you have the you know most amount of vitamins in there. And with saying that, I'm not saying you have to go on a raw food diet. That's not what we're saying. We're just saying don't overcook your foods. The third consideration is light. Some water-soluble vitamins can be destroyed by light. For example, um, riboflavin, which is found in dairy products, um, it can be a considerable amount of it can be destroyed if it's exposed to light. So um, that's why you'll find that dairy packaging is usually in opaque packaging or paper packaging, and that's really important to preserve that vitamin. Okay, and the fourth consideration is air. So vitamin C and some B vitamins can be destroyed um, by oxygen. So you don't wanna have them exposed air for a long period of time. So one thing to do is if you cut them up or um, they're not fresh, you wanna store them in an airtight container like this Tupperware here. And also when you do cut them, you wanna make sure you cook them right away or eat them right away. Don't just have them sitting out on the counter all day because it will decrease the amount of vitamins in them. And so those are water soluble vitamin 101s. Thank you so much for watching. We know this was a little nerdy. Uh, we hope it wasn't too nerdy for you. We just wanna make sure that you're getting one-on-ones on these really important things. Um, yeah. So again, that was your vitamin basics. Um, we are going to type all this out and put it on our website for you uh, with more info. And that's www.foodheavenmadeeasy.com. So make sure you go to our website. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.